Hey guys, Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com and the other day I went back and I was looking at some of my older videos back when I first started doing YouTube and I ended up finding out that the most popular video that I ever made in terms of views anyways was the video I made on the hot water trick. Now I went back and watched that original video and I think that as a whole I got my general point across which is why there was a positive response to that video but in comparison to the videos I'm making now I think that the clarity of my speaking and uh, just the overall quality of the video is just not up to par with what I'm doing now so I thought it'd be kind of a fun idea to kind of remake that video and give some new input on the whole hot water trick situation. So if you guys want to check out that original video, it is kind of embarrassing, I think at least, or if you guys are a newer subscriber and want to see how how much I've progressed on YouTube, if you will, um, I will leave an annotation on screen to that original hot water trick video. So be sure to go ahead and check that out. So what is the hot water trick? Basically it is taking a bucket, filling it up with hot water, letting your shoes soak inside that water for an extended period of time, which in turn simulates wear time, allowing the upper and the sole plate to become a lot less stiff because they have been heated up from the hot water of course. Now this is an idea that was originally brought to the public eye by way of Cristiano Ronaldo who was seen soaking his Superfly 2s and Superfly 3s in hot water prior to games and practices. So automatically people assume that this is the best way to break in your soccer shoes. Now, um, with that being said, I, it will definitely help to speed along the process of breaking in a pair of soccer shoes, especially from brand new. But there are some downsides to the hot water trick that I think most people just don't know about. And that's really what I want to cover in today's video. Now, to be completely fair to the hot water trick, yes, it does actually work. It is effective. But at the same time, it's somewhat unnecessary. Cristiano Ronaldo was using it with the Superfly 2 and the Superfly 3, which, to be completely fair, are the two stiffest shoes ever made, in my opinion. They are very difficult to break in on your own. So a hot water aid, if you will, um, I found was actually necessary for those two shoes in order to become comfortable in those shoes in a reasonable amount of break in time. It was very difficult to break them in naturally just because of how stiff the upper was on that particular shoe. So to be fair, like I said, I think the Superfly 2 and the Superfly 3 are exceptions to the rule. They're built like tanks and I think hot water really isn't going to do too much damage to that particular shoe should you find it necessary in order to achieve a comfortable fit. Now since then, um, obviously it's been two years since those two shoes have been around. I think that pretty much every single modern soccer shoe that we have currently out there on the market does not require hot water or any type of break-in aids in order to achieve a comfortable fit in a reasonable amount of time. Uh, as far as I know, I don't think Cristiano Ronaldo is still soaking his shoes in hot water. I just don't think it's necessary. If you look at the Mercurial Vapor line as a whole, since the Superfly line has been discontinued, the Tatian Synthetic that they've been using is extremely soft, very thin, and pretty flexible from right out of the box. So like I said, hot water really isn't necessary in order to make the shoe less stiff just because it's not really going to do all that much. The material is too thin in the first place. And like I said, for most shoes currently out there on the market, if not all of them, um, I just don't think that any of them are stiff enough from right out of the box to require hot water in order to make them more comfortable in a more reasonable amount of time. Now basically all the hot water is going to do is simulate wear time. Now that heat from the hot water heats up the upper, makes it more flexible, which like I said, makes for a more comfortable experience from right out of the box and it kind of alleviates some of that break in time that you'd normally have to go through um, generally one to two hours with most shoes um, where the shoe is stiff from right out of the box to where it feels more flexible and more comfortable on your foot. Now while that is a positive thing of the hot water trick there are plenty of negatives as well and really tons of reasons why you shouldn't use the hot water trick at all or why at least I advise against using the hot water trick. Now when you soak your entire shoe in hot water you're exposing that shoe to excessive heat that it was not designed to handle. And this has been confirmed by many of the large companies who also recommend against using the hot water trick on their shoes. Now, like I said, you're exposing the shoe to excessive heat, not only on the upper, but also on the sole plate. And what bonds the sole plate on the upper on pretty much any shoe is glue. 
and when you expose glue to excessive heat, it tends to break down, it can melt, it bec becomes softer, in turn weakening the bond between the sole plate and the upper, which could lead to premature durability issues, which is really the major reason why you should not use the hot water trick. And like I said, it's just unnecessary. You're going to achieve that broken in feel after a couple hours of break in time without hurting or damaging the structural integrity of the shoe, which is something that is possible by using the hot water trick. Now I've heard lots of people ask if they could just take their shoe and dip it in the hot water underneath, um, kind of upside down, sorry, just so the upper touches the hot water and the sole plate doesn't. If you really wanted to, I guess you could do that, but again, I find it to be somewhat unnecessary, and you don't always want to expose the upper of the shoe, especially if it's a leather shoe, to excessive amounts of water. Um, these materials tend to absorb water pretty well, um, and if you expose them to a ton or excessive amounts of water and excessive heat, they could absorb that water almost permanently and you could actually change the feel of the upper altogether. So again, I just don't think that hot water is a necessary thing when it comes to breaking in any modern soccer shoe. Again, the only exception to that rule would be the Superfly 2 and the Superfly 3. Now I think that a lot of people have seen at this point the Nike boot steamer. Um, this is something obviously Nike is endorsing themselves. Um, it's something that's only available at very few Nike stores, I would assume. I've never seen one in person, to be completely honest with you guys. Um, and yes, if it's something they're endorsing, something that they're recommending that you can use on your shoes, then by all means, if you have access to a Nike boot steamer, go ahead and use it. But I think for the rest of the people, which tends to be the vast majority, boot steamers are just not something that you're going to have access to. Um, the reason why they do use a boot steamer is again, they're not heating up the sole plate, they're not heating up that bond between the sole plate and the upper, they're only concentrating on the upper itself. So again, like I said, if you wanted to dip your shoes in, upside down, you do have that option. It's most likely not going to hurt the shoe. But like I said, there are always downsides to exposing your shoes to excessive amounts of heated water. Um, so like I said, guys, that's pretty much it for the hot water trick. That's really all you need to know. It's something that you can use if you really want to. You take a risk at potentially damaging the bond between the sole plate and the upper and just the overall structural integrity of your shoe. Yes, it will allow you to break in your shoes more quickly, but you can achieve that same broken in feel by just wearing your shoes naturally and breaking them in in the same way that you would wear any other shoes just by simply wearing them. Um, so again, leave a comment down below. Let me know if there are any other older videos that you guys uh, may have seen me do that you would like to be, me to remake and perhaps give some more information on, just make in a better way. Um, again, I'll leave an annotation on screen to that original hot water trick video if you want to go ahead and check that out. If you guys did enjoy today's video, be sure to support it with a like. Subscribe if you haven't already for daily videos on all the latest soccer gear. You can find all of my social media information down below in the description. And other than that, guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. And as always, thanks for watching.